So we'll discuss another problem. The problem is 3x plus 5 fraction part of x equals 4 times. Now, greatest inner function of 2x plus 3. So again, what I'll do is I'll replace this x. I'll write 3 times the greatest inner function of x plus fraction part of x. And this is 5 times fraction part of x. 4 and then 2x plus 3. So I can write it as 3 times greatest inner function of x. Now 3x plus 5x will be 8 times fraction part of x, 4 times greatest inner function of 2x plus 3. Now here we have a problem because here we have both greatest inner function of x and greatest inner function of 2x. Now I cannot take this 2 out from greater function. So what I need to do is I will let greatest inner function of x as n. So that means the value of x should lie between n and n plus 1 where n is an integer. Now when the value of x lies between n and n plus 1, if I multiply it by 2, then the value of 2x will lie between 2n and 2n plus 2. So that means I have to take two separate cases. Case 1, when 2x lies between 2n and 2n plus 1. And the second case, when the value of 2x lies between 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 2. Now in the first case, I know that greatest function of x will be n and I also know that greatest function of 2x will be simply 2n. So if I put this value in the equation, I'll get it as 3. Greatest function of x will be simply n. So this is 8, fraction part of x. So this is 4 into 2n plus 3. So I can write it as fraction part of x will be 8 minus 3, 5. So 5n plus 3 by 8. Now, fraction part of x will lie between 0 and 1. So here I'll write 0. 5n plus 3 is less than 8. So minus 3 by 5. And then it will be simply 1. So the only possible value in this case, the only possible integral value in this case will be 0. So that is the value of greatest inner function of x will be 0. Now if I put the value of n as 0, I will get fraction part of x as 3 by 8. So if I add them up, then the value of x will be simply 3 by 8. So what the solution to this equation is, the value of x should be 3 by 8. I will take up the second case. Now in the second case, greatest function of 2x will be simply 2n plus 1. So if I put it in the equation, I can write it as 3, this is n plus 8 times fraction part of x. This is 4 into 2n plus 1 and then plus 3. So I can write fraction part of x as, so this is 8n minus 3n, so that is 5n plus 7 divided by 8. And now, Again, fraction part of x will lie between 0 and 1. So from here, again, I can write 0, 5n plus 7, and this is 8. So this is minus 7. This is 5n, and this is 1. So minus 7 by 5 is less than n, is less than 1 by 5. Only possible integral value of n again will be 0. So if I'll put again n as 0, I'll get this fraction part of x as 7 by 8. Now any x is integer part plus fraction part. So in this case, it will be 7 by 8. So there are two solutions to this equation. Either the value of x is 3 by 8 or the value of x is 7 by 8. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.